Hey Polish fans, it's Caroline again and welcome to another video here at Wildwind Lacquer. In today's video we are doing a little haul from Wildflower Lacquer. Two of these are from her latest collection that came out a few months ago I think by now. That was the uh, Celestial Collection. One of these is a charity polish and the other is a 2.0. So we've got a few to look at as well as the comparison to the 2.0 version. And before we get started, I'm just going to apologize for my naked nails. <laughs> I am getting prepped for another video that is going to be comparing some blurring base coats. So I took them off and then realized that I had to film more videos <laughs> before I did that one. Now moving on to the polishes. The first one is this one called North America Nebula. And this is one from that Celestial Collection. This is a really beautiful light, like pinky leaning purple shade. I feel like the pink aspect of this is kind of not showing up too well, at least not on my screen, but it is a beautiful shimmer polish. There is a lot of green to pink in that shifting shimmer. The green is showing up nicely. You can actually see a little bit of shift to blue as well. Although again, the pink for some reason is not being very camera ready, but I can see it right there where that blue is. So there's going to be a lot of shifts in this shimmer and it's a nice delicate color. This is it in two coats. I was pretty impressed with the opacity on this one because it is a shimmer polish. I would normally expect something like this to be at least a three coater, but this had pretty nice opacity for me in just two coats. And as you can see, you've got that beautiful shifting shimmer just glowing right off the nail. I love the tone to this one. Again, that pinky purple. So that first one was North America Nebula. The second polish, sort of in a color rainbow order, is the Charity Polish. This one is Always Remember You Are Stronger Than You Think. So this is the Charity Polish in remembrance for, I believe, her grandfather. This one is a really beautiful muted shade. You have this sort of a gray-leaning, purpley grayish color, and then it is loaded with a beautiful shifting shimmer. You have a red to gold to green. And I think mainly what you're seeing is that red come across as that fuchsia in this base. And it is absolutely gorgeous. This is a neutral, but with some pizzazz and it is absolutely gorgeous. Here it is in two coats. This one had a beautiful opacity for me in two coats. This does have that cream base. So it's got that beautiful flash there on the nail. You can see that fuchsia red shimmer there. And then as you tilt it, a bit of orange comes up as well. So a beautiful color there. I think this is a nice one for winter or fall, but you could wear this anytime really. It's one of those beautiful colors that can be worn basically year round. That one is called Always Remember You Are Stronger Than You Think. The next polish is from that Celestial Collection. This one is Cygnus Loop. And this one is a really beautiful polish. Again, I feel like I'm repeating myself <laughs> with all of these polishes today, but this is a gorgeous color. You have this somewhat green base. The base color on this one is actually hard to designate in the bottle, but it is a deep teal. Then you have a scattering of those holographic flakies, and then it is jam-packed full of that shifting shimmer. You have a red to gold to green. There's some orange in there as well. It's a slightly larger particle size as well, and if you've seen any of my other videos talking about shimmer polishes, you'll know that that's a particle size that I really enjoy seeing. There's something just very different about it than your standard finely milled particle, and I really like how it ends up looking on the nail. Here it is on the nail in two coats. You get a beautiful layering of those flakies and that shimmer. And even in the swatch, it's really difficult to tell what the base color is because you still don't really see the teal. Let me see if I can tilt it towards the light at all. There we go. There's that teal right there at the bubble on the swatch. That's the base color. So a really beautiful mix here. I think this is a gorgeous color. That one was Cygnus Loop. And then our 2.0 color was this one called Celine. This one was a beautiful color that came out, uh, I think a few years ago, and it was an extremely popular color. This one, I thought we would compare to the original because I do have that one. 
So here they are side by side, the 2.0 is on the left, the originals on the right, and I did see swatch comparisons prior to purchasing, so I know that there was some differences between the two. It, it wasn't like I was going to be duping myself exactly, but they do have that same shifting shimmer. I believe the difference is the base. There is more opacity in the new one, whereas Celine, the original one, had a bit more of a sheer, uh, not as packed of a, of a base. I wouldn't say sheerer necessarily, but it just wasn't as pigmented, if that makes any sense. Um, as you can see, you have the beautiful shifting shimmer in both, the flakies in both. I would almost say there's a slight difference in the amount of the flakies as well. It seems to me, at least in my bottle, that there might be a little bit more flakies in the original. So here is the 2.0 swatched in two coats. As you can see, it is very dark and vampy on the nail. You have that beautiful deep base. I think I forgot to describe the polish, but it is a really deep teal, kind of like this one here, although I think the teal base in Cygnus Loop was more on the green side, whereas the one from Celine is a bit on the blue side of that teal. And then it is absolutely packed full of that shimmer. And here it is compared to the original, which is on the bottom. Both of these are in two coats, and as you can see, there's quite a drastic difference. On my swatches, the 2.0 is a lot darker. In the original, you can still see that blue base coming through, whereas in the 2.0, you're mainly seeing that shimmer in a very deep backdrop. So very interesting how a different formulation can completely change a polish. So we have 2.0 up here, the original down there. So the last polish from my haul from Wildflower Lacquer was Celine 2.0. So there we have it. That was my little haul from Wildflower Lacquer. If you bought any from this collection, let me know down below. I actually am wishing now that I'd bought a few more of the colors from that collection, but uh, when this was released, I was already spending quite a lot of money on nail polish, so I was trying to whittle back, and I knew that we had the Bees Knees Lacquer Respawn Palooza coming up, so I was trying to behave, but in any case, hopefully you enjoyed looking at some beautiful polish. If you're new to my channel, make sure to hit the little subscribe button down below. That way you don't miss out on any of my new videos, and I will see you in that next one.